Good morning, we're at the farmer's market trying to get into the parking lot. Oh, look, no parking on the side. It is busy today because it's dog day. And my sister's working the event for pack leaders to adopt out some puppies. So let's see if we can find a spot for her. We'll go see her. There, there is not a single spot anywhere. Look at all the dog activity today. That's a great day. Hi, Mandy. Hi, there's a great day. Where? You only have four puppies left? Yep. Wow. That's awesome. How much is she? She's about five pounds. Oh my god. Great Dane? Yeah. Mixed though, right? Yeah. Well, that was fun. It's not hot, but it is humid. So let's go get some need to drink at home. There are people parking at the center school, at the town offices. It is a busy farmer's market today. So I didn't even turn in the direction I needed to go. I turned in another direction. I'd rather go around than have to wait for 10 minutes to get out. So let's go take a scenic route. I really need to adhere something to my um, car right here so the camera doesn't slip because I know as soon as I go to take a turn because I'm not holding it it's gonna go overboard so I'll stop and then maybe when I'm going in a straight line so you can see some of our scenery okay hopefully you won't slide so we didn't vlog yesterday except for the little clip which I'll show here I'm pretty certain today's vlog is going to be under a minute. Um, I wasn't feeling good, so I didn't pick up the camera. And Polly came home with pizza, so I don't have to cook. Some days are just like that. Hope yours was fabulous, and hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, I was not feeling good, so I didn't pick up the camera, which is okay. You guys understand, there's not always going to be eventful excursions and stuff. Um, why am I by myself today? Why don't you hear funny banter with my hubby, Polly? Well, because he's at work. Yes, it's Saturday, but those UPS men, they keep on delivering. So, yeah, that's where he is. Um, not sure whether he has a full day or not, but, um, oh, I see emergency vehicle up ahead. Pull over. So yeah, he got called into work this morning. Oh, fire truck, I hope everyone's okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's three more. We'll just wait. Oh my gosh. When I see people not pulling over when there's emergency vehicles um, ahead or in back, um, I get a little cringed because if you were the one on the receiving end of that emergency assistance, wouldn't you want it to get to you as quickly as possible? Oh, logic, people. Oh, our farm stand's not out yet. I hope they have one this year. Huh, that's odd, because usually by now they're out. Anyway, so this is tobacco fields to the left. Yeah, there's tobacco fields to the right as well. And I'm sorry if you're a little, like, cockeyed. I'm sorry. Yep, tobacco fields. Um, we also have soy and alfalfa. And I'm hoping that our farmer friend, um, John Hoffman, who we get our corn from, um, plants sunflowers this year like he did two years ago because they do a rotation crop on a couple of their fields. And in addition to the sunflowers, he always puts in, oh, I should slow down. He always puts in daikon radishes. Now, they never pick the daikon radishes. They always let us go into the field and get them if, if we want them. Well, now that I have um, 
delved into making my own kimchi, I totally want some daikon. Of course, it won't be ready until the fall, but I don't know, we'll see. So this is our turn coming up to the left, so I'm going to shut you off so you don't go tumbling. Okay, and we're back. So, uh, oh, actually, we're gonna drive past this farm. I'll tell you where it is. Yeah, I definitely need to, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, you're getting jostled around because you're precariously leaned on right above my steering wheel, where my steering wheel is, but on the dash. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that he plants uh, some daikon. Uh, a couple of years ago, they had daikon and rutabaga. And we picked a whole bunch of them because those root vegetables, will, ooh, so sorry. Those root vegetables will last quite a while. Let's see if you can mm, survive the turn. All right. Um, the root vegetables survive for a while. And oh, look at that cool car. I think there's a car show this weekend. I don't know if it's. All right, so this is the, to the right is the first field. And, oh, it looks like alfalfa already is up. Um, and, oh, corn's in. So the corn's to the right. John Hoffman's farm is immediately to the left. Let's see, I'll slow down and show you. It's to the right there. A pretty house. And they don't have their stand out yet either. And their stand is always closed on Sundays um, because I believe the family is Mennonites and his in-laws live with him. His dad is the one that saved me when I had a flat tire one time. All right, so this is alfalfa as well to the left. So it looks like they'll crop that, is that wheat? Well, maybe it's wheat. That's their sample field. When they get new seed samples, they always seed one of the fields, and that's the sample field. So there's our local Agway, and we're right, right up the street. So I essentially just did a circle because to the farmer's market is to the left, but I couldn't pull out of there, so easier to go around, which is fine because we went on a little drive. <clears throat> And you may or may not fall off. There's a couple of bumps coming up. <laughs> so what else has been going on? Um, I was so unwell. Yesterday was my mom's birthday. I didn't even get a chance to see her for her birthday. So I'm hoping maybe later today I might take her out for drinks. So when we get back to the house, um, I, need, I, did, I already fed and watered everybody. But I have to refill the dog, uh, dog food container and check on my uh, sprouts, OMG. This is so much fun. Uh, if you have not already picked up a sprouting kit or if you've never sprouted um, seeds specifically for eating the sprouts versus um, growing them, I highly recommend it. What a great activity during the summer for your kids. It's so much fun and you can have new sprouts in three to five days. And there's all sorts of things you could sprout. So I started the broccoli, red radish. Oh, let's see if you're gonna survive. Oh, there's a tag sale coming up. Turn slowly. Okay, there was no one behind me. Oh, look, you tilted on one leg and you're back. <clears throat> the smaller seed sprouts are 24 hours in an, ahead of the second batch that I started in another uh, mason jar, which is mung beans, and mung beans are gonna produce those like plumper, juicier sprouts, and they're awesome in fried rice and oh my gosh, all sorts of stuff. So I'll show you what that uh, what that looks like. I already saw several of them break the skin. So you essentially soak overnight. So I put the put water in uh, to cover the 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 seeds. Um, should we stop at this tag sale that's coming up? Oh, why not? Let's live dangerously. Not dangerously, but y'all, let's, let's see. Okay, we can just pull up to the house. We're on the right side of the street. We'll do this. He just, <laughs> I love how people communicate with hands. All right, let's go in. A cute little tabletop pool thing. They have some Gordon Ramsay pots and pans, but they want 20 bucks for each one. 
Well, that was fun. They had um, four Gordon Ramsay stainless pans. They wanted $20 each. And to be honest, I would have been interested in them if she told me that she would give me a deal for all four. And yes, they were still in the boxes, but there were water damage on the boxes, so it looks like maybe they were a gift and nobody used them. <laughs> a box is a box, a big deal. Not like I'm going to trade them. I would use them, but we already have, oh, sheesh, I don't know if you're gonna make this turn, because this is our street. We already have so many stainless steel um, pots and pans. I actually have to go through the whole pot rack and weed through some of them because it's just chaos at this point. Oh, and our garbage and recycling got picked up, which is good, because Polly threw away a broken ladder. <laughs> the boys are home by themselves. Look at this. I'll tell you something. This is not a secret, but see all the chairs and stuff out? Polly smoked last Sunday, so almost a week ago. Here, Mush, you can go out um, with some friends in the driveway. Well, you, if you follow me on Facebook, you know my little to-do about it, <laughs> which was funny in the end. So I categorically refuse to clean up after them, like put the chairs all together and that kind of stuff, because it's his thing. He, he wanted to do it, and he should be the one to clean it up. Because all too often, I end up being the cleanup crew for everything. So I decided to just leave it. So last night, he did pick up a lot of the garbage. I was kind of laying around. And he got rid of it in the garbage. So I think he felt bad that I wasn't feeling good. And although I did get all the garbage and recycling together. Because it was delayed by a day. I thought it was the day before, but because we had Monday was a holiday. So I'm just putting my cash away because I took some out of my wallet so I didn't have to bring my whole Wally with me. I didn't buy anything at the farmer's market because to be honest we our fridges are filled at the moment. We really don't need anything so let's go in the house. Um, although this air conditioning is so lovely. Um, it's only 72 degrees outside and I'll show you. See that? But it's particularly humid. So much so that I had really big hair this morning when I woke up. Actually, I think I took a picture. Let me show you. I know I was scary. So sorry, children, if you're watching, look away. Well, I should have warned you beforehand, shouldn't I? And look, Chihuahua's staring at me like, are you gonna get out of the car, Mom, or what? Hi, Mozzie. Hi, Moz. Hi, Moz, Moisey. And she look, I can't hear you talking. Baby, talk to me. Come on, Moshi. Look, weeded, and I think we're gonna plant later. Look at that. I have way too much oregano. I need to pull some of it out. All right, let's go. Mommy locked the car yet? Let's see what kind of reception we're gonna get from the boys. Hello? Hello, boys. Hi, Chester. Hi, Mos Mos. Hi, Mosey. Hi. Hi, Moski. Hi. Oh my gosh, so excited. So excited. All right, let's go look at the sprouts. Honey, what do you want? What do you want? You have food and water? Go eat. Go, go eat. So here's the sprouts from a couple of days ago. So this is two days, and you have to lay them on, on their side. So I had to water them this morning and then uh, drain out all the water. And you leave them like this. 
And these are the mung beans. Look at that. They've broken their outer hulls and they're starting to sprout. And the reason you rinse and water them every day, uh, twice a day, I've been doing these three times a day, I might do that three times a day as well, is if you just leave them in water, they would rot. And that's why you tilt them so the water drains out. That's why I have them on paper towels. So yeah, pretty awesome, right? Great experiment. I'll um, have a full video from start to finish once they are to the edible stage. And um, I'll include a link to that, you know, uh, where I got them and all of that. Super easy, super fun. Like the science nerd in me, you know, <laughs> so excited. I'll have fresh sprouts. And this is just two tablespoons and that was half a cup. I know I'm going to have to transfer that in a bigger jar, and I do have a bigger jar, because those are going to be voluminous, as you can see. They are, uh, even after plumping up, they take almost half the jar, so yeah. Probably should have started off with a couple of tablespoons. Boys, what would you like? Hi, Chester. Hi. Hi, honey. Oh, my old man. You want to go outside? 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 Come on. Come on. I have to let that squirrel go by because otherwise Moses will go berserk. Ready? Go. And there they go. So I didn't want to, but he came back up to bed. I'm not feeling that great. So this might be it first for today, but at least you got to go outside with me. So hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.